All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're gonna to be looking at, again, at a Claude.ai. A lot of people are calling it cloud. Drop your comments below what you think that this tool is pronounced. Cloud would definitely not be spelled the way that it is up here. This is more like Claude. There's Jean-Claude Van Damme, and that's exactly how you spell his last name. So I'm leaning more towards Claude.ai. But everybody else that I'm seeing, SEOs that are talking about this tool are calling it cloud.ai. So if I'm wrong, if you guys want to drop a comment below what you think, it, how, how you're pronouncing it anyways, be my guest. Drop a comment below. That'd be really cool. So I have used this tool a little bit right here, and I have tried some advanced, let's see if I can click in here, some advanced querying or prompting, and it doesn't, it's not able to handle, Claude, Claude can't visit links okay so that's where it is going to fall short when it comes to what chat gpt can do is with all the plugins it's it's able to go to these channels and do all kinds of analysis and so forth so chat gpt right now currently is going to win when it comes to you know doing things very creative things getting youtube scripts doing real-time research scraping websites and so forth but I want to test Claude in a different way today, use, seeing how well we can essentially get a piece of SEO content created for us. Because where I think that Claude wins is its ability to write a longer form content and do just a lot more content at once than ChatGPT can do. So let's jump in and let's go find a keyword. I am in SE ranking. I've already, I'm searched for how to start up a, and I'm looking for more business type or you know starting up a different type of business or something like that. Not like how to start a lawnmower or how to start, you know, a, a pool, something, you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm looking for specific tips on one that stands out right here is how to start a hoarding cleanup business, right? So what that would be is, there are a lot of people that struggle with hoarding things, right? And that what that means is that they hold on to all their possessions even when they don't need them and they hold on to them for decades. And when you come in their house, you guys have probably seen some of these stories or documentaries on the news or on some popular TV stations, right? Where they will go in and see where you can't even walk on the floor because there's so much stuff all over the floors. And then there's ends up being pests and so forth that live inside of there with them because there is just, you can't even see the house in other words, right? They just hold on to everything. So there's businesses that it's an actual thing that they will go in and it probably costs thousands of dollars, but they'll go in and clean out the house and in probably, you know, value your items, maybe sell them off for you. And then they'll, you know, you get most of the percentage of it and different things and, and restore your house back to the way it should be. Right. And so that looks cool, but let's go in and let's try to maybe do something with this keyword. I'm going to go ahead and copy this keyword. We're going to go over and we're going to use Neuron Writer. There will be tool links to any of the tools that I use in this video. If you guys want to go check them out, I'm going to use Neuron Writer right now. I need to go and switch my project home. We'll go over here to realistic pay. We'll go to new query and we'll throw that one in and we'll just push start. And while it's doing that, we'll come right back. All right, so it's almost done with the analysis right here. And why we would use this is because, you know, Neuron Writer is specifically formula formulated to go out and scrape all the top ranking articles for this keyword and give us a lot of SEO keywords and questions and all the different things that we would, from an SEO standpoint, want to put in our article. This one is also saying that it's a an e it should be a pretty easy keyword to go for. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And so using a combination, that's what I really like to do on this channel is show you how we can use these tools. You, Claude right now is a free tool. Neuron Writer is a paid tool. Right now it still is currently available as a lifetime deal LTD. So there will be a link below. You can go check it out. But essentially combining tools together in creating your own workflow and your own workflow process in order to come up with the best content that you can come up with. Okay. So it looks like right here, a content score for this right now, we have some kind of partial start a biohad hazard remediation and hoarding cleaning company, how to start hoarding cleaning cleanup business. But look at this, the content score is terrible on these. We even have an Amazon run. So this is a complete outlier. So I will uncheck mark that. 
and I will add the next one right over here. So I like to go with the 10, but we have nothing in green over here. We definitely have a, a good shot. And right here, this one right here, I would almost, I could almost guess that this was AI content because you're looking at almost 5,000 words right here and it has a really low content score. So this is probably AI that's not optimized, has had no specific things done to it to make it better content. So I think that we should be able to definitely beat this content right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and push next. And then we're gonna use the content or the all the briefing and analysis and NLP keywords that Neuron Writer is gonna give us in order to create, see if we can create some good content in, in, in Claude.ai and then I'll track my findings and then we can come back and I'll show you if I can get an article ranked or not, right? All right, so we have this right over here. I'm gonna go over to the meta and I'm gonna just throw that in right here, right up the bat so we have our title over here. And then we have, we're starting off with 15 right out of the gates. And then we, all these keywords right here, but what we're going to do, and I gotta be honest, I haven't used this, but I know that one of you told me about this and you said, hey, use the Neuron Writer chat GPT prompt. And I'm gonna see if I can use this in Claude and we're gonna see if it will work or not, right? So what we can do is, where is it at? Maybe we, I think we just scroll all the way to the bottom down here copy all visible, I'm gonna select this, and then I'm gonna say chat GPT prompt with suggested terms. So we're gonna go like this, and then I'm going to go back to Claude right now, and we're gonna start a new chat, and I'm going to paste this in. We have all these keywords in here, this is just nuts, right? All these keywords, I mean, it does get rid of all the ones that say, so we have terms right here, I don't know if we need to get rid of that right there, H1 terms, maybe, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is because maybe it's smart enough to know. Yes, it is. So we have write a 2000 word blog post on the topic defined by title terms. And so what we're going to do is start with catchy H1. So it's, these are the title terms. It's saying write a 2000 word blog post on the topic defined. So it's gonna take these title terms right here, the H, the title terms. Yep, so it's gonna say hoard cleanup. So all these, we need this to be in our title. I think I'm gonna keep the, t the title because we wanna answer the question, but still. So we don't even have to put a title in here. Start with a catchy H1 using keywords from the H1 terms. So it's gonna come down here to the H1 terms and it's going to, under H1, add a short summary of the subject and explain why article is worth reading. We could also put in here, put, you know, add a key points section. That would be cool. Actually, I'm going to, no, I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone this time, but I am going, I'm very intrigued and kind of interested in also telling it to add a key points section, but maybe I'll do that on the next go around. Secondly, prepare article outline with the H2 subheaders. And then thirdly, for each H2 subheader, add two to three paragraphs with detailed explanation for specific subheader. Paragraphs must include terms from the terms list. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. All, I, I'm pretty sure all we have to do is just push the go button. Now let's see what Claude AI can do. Here's a 2000 word blog post on starting a hoard cleanup business. Everything you need to know about starting a hoarding cleanup business. That would be a pretty good title. I think I wanna just go with the straight question one, but we have our introduction right here. Are you interested in starting a hoarding cleanup business with the rising awareness of hoarding dis dis disorder? The demand for professional hoarding cleanup services is growing. This article will provide an art overview of everything you need to know how to start up a successful hoarding and biohazard cleanup company. Hoarding disorder affects two to 6% of the population, blah, blah, blah. Attempting an amateur cleanup can be extremely dangerous due to risks like excessive clutter, rodent and in, uh, insect infestations. So this is why this is actually a, a big deal. You wouldn't just wanna hire you know, some teenagers to come over and clean up your house for you. It would put, be putting them at ri risk and in danger. A lot of times you might need to wear hazmat or respirators, hazmat masks or respirators and things like that. So that is why there are companies out there that actually do this. Creating a business plan, we got all this stuff right here, licensing and permits, uh, equipment you'll need right over here. I love the lists that it's providing and so forth. So offer additional related services, setting your rates, and I will just continue to kind of let you see this, uh, writing this out, setting your rates, pricing cleanup jobs profitably while remaining competitive takes some care. Here are a few tips. So then it lists them all, charged by the square footage, quota, base rate, blah, blah, blah. Then we're over here, don't sacrifice quality. 
the marketing, your hoarding cleanup business. So it's going over everything, the business plan, you know, how to run your business. It's going over marketing, how to get people, you know, get clients and find people that need your services, developing a process for cleanups. This is going very much into detail and so forth. So really, really cool. It would be interesting if any of you guys know, leave in the comments below. I haven't done any of the back story or, you know, what the apparently when what I heard briefly was that Claude.ai did ha, does have open AI people that left the company and created their own. Let me know if you think that's true or not. But that's kind of what I read is that this is, in fact, some people that were related to the ChatGPT project in open AI and they came over here to do their own thing, something like that is what I heard, but I don't know if it's true. And then another thing is, do you guys know where their database is coming from, right? Like how far back does this go? How far back does the Claude.ai information go? Is it like ChatGPT 3.5 that can only go back to you know two years ago? Or is it more current? It just can't scrape content in URLs, but it is more current. One cool thing to look at right now while this is finishing up is that it did provide a key takeaways. Hoarding disorder creates and managing. So like that's a massive key takeaway. In closing, we did get a conclusion. So key takeaways, we might wanna put this at the very beginning, which I think we will. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control A, and I'm going to just right click right here and do a word counter. So it did a 2,500 word blog post, boom, like that. It took a few minutes. It couldn't go any faster than this, right? This is just insane. But let's see what we can do. We're gonna plug it in, see what kind of right off the bat, what kind of score we get, and then we're gonna improve this, and we're gonna go and try to rank this, okay? So I'm gonna copy this right here. We're gonna go into Neuron Writer. We're gonna paste this in right over here. And we actually, we need to do an undo because we need to go over to Markdown is what it's looking like. So Markdown, you will need this a little extra step here. It's not too bad. We're going to Control A, delete that, Control V, and then we will Control A, Control Copy. We'll come back to Neuron Writer and then we will paste that in. And now we'll come up and see what our score is. So right off the bat, we're looking at a 56, really cool. We do have a lot of green in here, just a lot of green, I like that. The only thing, so right off the bat, that's pretty impressive. We've got twice the amount of content that we need, but that's not too much content. It looks like it was actually 1900 words if we actually just copy this and not the prompt. Yeah, it's because of the prompt. So if we copy just this and we go word counter, the fact that it provided a 1900 word article that is this well researched and well written, I think that this is a very high quality content gave us the gave us the key points as well. I do think I want to go to the key takeaways section. And I'm going to remove this right there. And I want to come back up to the top. And I'm going to go into here. And I'm just going to paste it right there. I want the key takeaways right at the beginning. That might help us with some win some snippets or anything like that. So everything else looks looks really good. We do need to make this delete this part right here. And this is our H1. So we do have an H1. One thing I want to do is if just for fun, I'm going to remove this. And I want to take our keyword over here and put that as the H1 because it's the specific one that we have told it that we want to rank for. And I want to see if we can get this to go up further. So we got it to a 57 and not a 56. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna just go with this kind of an old school H, H1 method, which is to have the exact keyword that I'm going for in my H1. Just fix this up real quick. Okay, so how to start a hoarding cleanup business. There are some reds. We could spend the time trying to get rid of some of these. Those reds could hurt us, but we do have a lot of green looking really good. It, it did a really good job utilizing all those. I would have thought that the, what did our, what happened to our score? Why did it go down? Why did our star, our score go down to a 55? Huh? That's weird. That kind of don't make any sense, but we will start from there. I, I don't know why the score went down. You guys will probably catch something on the video that I, that I didn't see, but Nonetheless, what we can do now is we just need five points to get to 60 right there. I do, it's auto saving, so that's cool. I'm gonna come back over here and look at where that one is. So we have a 50, a 60 is the highest score. So that does make sense. I'll come back over to the content real quick. All right, so next what we'll do is, of course, we'll just scroll down here 
and I'm going to go to, to the bottom in closing. Instead of in closing, I'm going to come right over here and I'm just going to say we're going to go to AI writing and we'll go to advanced FAQ article and how to start a hoarding cleanup business. I'm just going to say do do do. I'm just going to leave it the way it is because I haven't, I usually put FAQ up there, but I'm not really sure if that's how I'm supposed to actually do this. Looks like it already did fill in all the, the terms right here. I'm going to go with a formal and then just say write for me. See what this can come up with for us. All right. So we have what is a hoarding cleanup business? A, ho a hoarding cleanup business is a company that provides. So that's actually kind of cool because what is a hoarding business? Specifically, someone might be just asking, what the heck does that even mean? And so it is answering those for us. We already took our content score to a 72 right now. That's just nuts. And I'm going to go ahead and probably just leave it at it is. A question, how do I find clients for my hoarding? So it answered a bunch of questions for us. We've utilized a lot of the NLP keywords and terms. You can just see over here, look at, I've I have never seen that much green before. NeuronWriter is just nuts. It's insane. Probably would get better scores if I spent more time over here and optimized these keywords right here. I'd have to take all this content and we'd have to use, split it up and use, you know, I don't know if Cloud AI would be able to do it, but ChatGPT would. We could say, don't use, you know, only use this term one time and so forth. And we would really have to do some querying or just manually go through all these and try to change it with a different term. That would take a lot of time. Yes, normally I would not recommend going into trying to rank with that much in red. But in this case, I want to see what we can do because we do have a 72 content score, which is way better, 12 points higher than the highest score. And so we're going to go ahead and just push save. I'm going to go and place this on my site and track the keyword for how to start up a hoarding cleanup business. And I will, you know, make sure to give you guys an update if I can get this ranking. And this is a pretty cool little process that I was thinking about this morning. So we'll see. I just like to test as well. I like to test these AI softwares out, push them to their limits. Also do spend as the least amount of time as I can creating content, but make sure making sure it's optimized. So hitting these 72 scores very quickly. Claude is very impressive. Obviously Neuron Writer is kind of a hero right here. It's just amazing at what it does. But using these two tools in a powerful way, I think that the the huge advantage of Claude right now, the two things are is that one, it's free right now. So jump on it and start using it. And two, for its ability to take this score right here for its ability to take this score right here and go and write a, a almost 2000 word article on the first run and get a, a you know like a 55 56 SEO score right off the bat is pretty impressive. So that's it for this video. We will see you in the next video.